Hey guys, welcome. It's Joker88. Welcome back to my channel. What are we going to be talking about today? The Alpha. The Alpha is a turbocharged vehicle. Let's look at the engine. So the Alpha has a cover, uh, engine cover, that snaps off. And here's the 1.7 liter four cylinder turbocharged engine. Looking at the back of the car. Well, I'll show you. I'm out in the mid, middle of the car because you still have this room over here. Out of the box, you can hear the turbo already pretty loud. Well, somewhat louder compared to uh, most vehicles because most manufacturers try to hide the turbo sound. Well, Alpha is a little bit different. They embraced it. So I ended up buying an air intake from Euro Compulsion. Check this out. So it comes with the silicone tubing and also the air filter. Let me walk you guys through the installation. This is where I kind of had an issue with in the beginning and I was thinking I have to get somebody to do it. First of all, my jack is fairly short and to do this correctly underneath here, I would have to put my jack all the way down there. So it's, it's not gonna work. But I was lucky enough to figure out Within my carbon, uh, the carbon fiber chassis tub, there's a jack point in the middle. So I was able to jack this up the middle side and both wheels went up. Actually, I could have worked on it like that, but I wanted to be safe and I was able to put my other jack underneath there and everything went perfectly. First thing you gotta do is, well, you gotta remove the tires. The tire, you have to remove the tire. So jack the car up, remove the tire and then you need to remove the fender well via these screws. There's three right there. And there's one right there. And one right there. And this entire felt thing comes off. You can go in the back right here. And right down there is the intake thing. It's right right there. And they have like these clamps, these use once clamps right here. Looks like this. This clamp here. This is a use only one time. And they provide you with the clamps that you need to clamp this thing. Which is really good that I installed it because this intake right here, I looked at the back, the clamp broke. Or it was already, yeah, it was it was unfastened. So I ended up replacing it and just putting a new one to secure that in there. You start off here, you unfasten that. This is what's gonna come out of your car, so, right? And you take off the, the uh, the MAF uh, sensor. And once you take that out, this whole thing's gonna come off. Now, there's this bolt along the the walls of the, the tub, and this whole thing comes off. I mean, look at this massive air filter that came off of the car. So usually you'd unbolt these bolts right here to replace the air filter inside. It really restricts the airflow that goes into the engine. So this thing is just gonna come down. So what you wanna do is, once you unbolt this, just kinda catch it. You'll have to probably like, you know, move it around a bit. And then it'll kinda just drop to the bottom near the wheel, the, near the wheel well. You're gonna get the red tube. And you're gonna mount that red tube right inside. Now this is the, okay, so we're going into the side of the engine. Let's follow the camera. Intake is there, so you put the intake in, you clamp it on, and you're good. Follow down there, and you want to clamp this. And you clamp that. There's your MAF sensor. See the one right there in the middle? You put that sock on. Well, you put the MAF filter in there. I mean, the MAF sensor goes in there. And then you're gonna put it into the end of this red tube, and then you're gonna clamp it down. And after you clamp it down, you pop in the uh, this wire right here that thing so you clamp it there and that's clamped tight already with the filter 
And right in the middle right here, that's your MAF sensor. And then that's the mass airflow sensor. And then this is the connector to it. You plug that in, lock it in place, and then you're set. We'll look right in here. And you're gonna see, see it says aerate, and that's where it collects all the cold air. It was a pretty easy install, it wasn't too bad. Like they said in the on the website, it says it's like a, a two out of five, which is true. I mean, the hardest part was trying to figure out where you're gonna jack the car and then plug in everything. And, but it's doable, it's doable. And you're really not gonna mess anything up uh, unless you mess with the MAF filter and you mess it up. And then the way you, you put the, you attach the MAF sensor to the, to the filter unit itself, that can be pretty, you know, touch and go. And here's the best tip is that I just put a little bit of, uh, a couple of drops of detergent, uh, dishwashing detergent in water. Put a nice layer of water in there so it lubricates and it comes off. Do not use any like, never do like a <laughs> WD-40 on it. You'll just mess it up. Just do the water thing and you'll be fine. And you're gonna get sounds like this, man. Check it out. That was it man that was a pretty install i love it the next thing i'm gonna do is maybe put in a, a piggyback ecu on the car and then there's a video coming for that one so anyways guys thanks for everything i appreciate your support guys thank you i'll see you guys on our next video take care